I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. I wonder how I can turn off the light to let them know I'm here. Must be something around here that can help. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. There, I've completed step three of the note. Now for step four. <laughs> So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head, origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot, more like a puncture from a sharp object. Which is odd, because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect. His suit looks tailored, possibly European in design.
like I don't have enough to carry already. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. We should go find the sheriff. Looks like the road goes on forever. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. Signals are very strong tonight. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! But remember, signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. You almost ran over a federal agent. That is a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? It's in the cadet training manual. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. <laughs> that was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. But it really pays off in the end. Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you too. Squeak! Click, 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 click. From a six-pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. 